Windows 10 is officially dying, and the tech world wants you to panic buy a shiny new PC just to run Windows 11. But what if I told you that's complete garbage, and an old machine can still crush it without spending a dime? In this video, I'm going to show you how to run Microsoft Office, Photoshop, Premiere, literally full Windows apps seamlessly on Linux, without dual booting, without e-waste, and without losing your mind. By the end, you'll know how to make Linux do everything Windows can, and then some. Here's the deal. With Windows 10's end of life right around the corner, most people are rushing into stores and throwing cash at new machines just so they can meet Windows 11's requirements. Which, by the way, aren't even that different except for that lovely TPM requirement. But here's the truth. You don't need a brand new machine and you definitely don't need to be stuck in Microsoft's cycle. A growing group of people are flipping the script, switching to Linux, and suddenly realizing they can breathe new life into their old hardware while cutting down on pointless e-waste. The catch? If you've ever tried switching to Linux, you know the pain. Your favorite Windows-only software, Word, Photoshop, Premiere, just doesn't run natively. Sure, you could learn LibreOffice or GIMP, but when you're used to Excel macros or Adobe plugins, the open-source alternatives just don't cut it. That's where WinApps changes everything. Think of WinApps as the bridge between Linux and Windows. It lets you run actual Windows applications inside a virtual machine, but here's the kicker. It feels seamless, like the apps are running directly on Linux. And no, setting it up isn't rocket science. You just need hardware that can handle virtualization. If you've got a desktop from the last decade or a laptop from the last five years, you're good. Flip on virtualization in your BIOS, because chances are it's off by default, and then install Docker or Podman to handle the backend. WinApps provides a ready-made Docker Compose template, all you have to do is throw in your username and password for the VM, decide how much RAM to give it, and even pick which version of Windows you want. Yes, you can still run Windows 10 inside this VM, and it'll happily handle Office, Photoshop, or even some older games until Steam decides otherwise. Once it's running, you can access your Windows VM right in your browser at localhost 86. From there, you log in with your Microsoft or Adobe accounts and install your apps like normal. Or, if you're feeling adventurous, you know where to find those sketchy ISOs. Either way, it works. File transfers are simple too. By default, your Linux home directory is shared with the VM, so you can drag and drop files back and forth. That means your totally legit Photoshop install can live on Linux without ever touching dual boot. Now, while the browser interface is fine, XFreeRDP is where things get buttery smooth. It has less overhead, scales better, and it's what the WinApps launch scripts actually depend on. Once you've got it set up, your Windows apps show up in your Linux app launcher just like native software. Click Photoshop, boom, Photoshop opens. Click Excel, it's Excel. It's seamless enough to make you forget you're in a VM. Of course, performance isn't perfect. The first launch after reboot can take 20 seconds, and if you're expecting to game on this setup, forget it. The input lag is brutal. Photoshop and Premiere work, but you'll notice a cursor delay when you're drawing or scrubbing timelines. GPU pass-through could fix this, but for most people just trying to use Office or do some light creative work, it's more than good enough. The beauty is in the simplicity. You don't have to reboot into Windows, you don't have to maintain a dual boot setup, and you're not stuck replacing your machine just because Microsoft says so. The only real downside right now is that Wayland support isn't perfect yet. You might need X Wayland for compatibility, but if you're still on X11, you won't notice a thing. So that's the magic of WinApps. Full Windows software running like native apps on Linux without the hassle. If you've ever thought Linux meant giving up your favorite tools, this proves you don't have to. Stay safe, stay secure, and have a wonderful day.